Faroe Islands. On a recent Oceana cruise, I took an excursion from the cruise port in Torshan on the Faroe Islands, which consist of 18 islands. 54,000 people live on 16 of those islands, so it is not a hugely populated set of islands. Faroe means sheep, and the islands got their name because there were sheep on the islands when the Vikings arrived in 850. It is also called the land of maybe because with the fluctuating weather, you can only ever count on maybe doing something. And I got a taste of that on this trip. The islands were formed 65 million years ago from volcanic activity. Our excursion was supposed to take us to the Vesmana sea cliffs, but because it was very windy and rainy, it was changed to Vagar Island. We drove for about an hour, mostly along the shore, where we traversed the hills in the pouring rain. The visibility was poor because of the rain, but it contributed to the numerous waterfalls we encountered along the way. It was a beautiful drive, although the visibility and picture taken was compromised due to the rainy windows. We eventually arrived at a dock and boarded a boat, again in the pouring rain. Everyone went below deck, but the visibility out the windows wasn't great so all of us took turns going up to the deck to view the sights and take photos. We cruised along the dramatic shoreline of Bagar Island, where thousands of birds nest for the summer. We traveled very close to the shore to view some gorgeous waterfalls and check out the volcanic rock formations. To give you an idea of the weather conditions, here is a selfie from the boat. Although I got very soaked, it was all in great fun. The sea cliffs were glorious and it was worth battling the weather to see them. The most dramatic part of the boat ride were these jagged rocks jutting out of the sea, called sea stacks. They were connected thousands of years before, but are now separated by the ocean. The boat continued farther out and eventually traveled between the stacks. Here are some images from the 90-minute boat ride. Despite the consistent rain, it was a beautiful outing. I imagine it would be even better in the sunshine, but from what I understand, the weather is very unpredictable on the islands. After the boat ride, we boarded the bus again and retraced our route back to the cruise port. The tour guide shared some information on the Faroe Islands, including the fact that Faroe Island is a country, but is partially owned by Denmark. It has its own government, but some things are ruled by Denmark. It has its own language, Faroese. However, three languages are always taught in the schools, Faroese, Danish, and English. So that concluded my excursion to the Faroe Islands. If you are considering a trip, I think the boat ride was worth the extra expense. The bus ride through the hills was lovely, but the boat treated you to a perspective of the islands that you don't get from staying on land. I have posted additional videos on my 30-day land and cruise journey to Scotland, Iceland, Greenland, and more, which I have listed in the description. Please subscribe to follow other destinations on this trip. And please check out the other senior and solo travel resources, the Senior Solo Travel website, and the Travel Facebook forum. I have included links to both in the description. And if you'd like to follow my senior and solo travel journeys, please like and subscribe. Cheers!